Richard Southern joins us once again. And Richard, a new study is providing some insight into what happens in our brains when we die. Boy, this is interesting. You know, you hear these stories, um, people that get, that get brought back to life, Melissa, they say, well, my, my life flashed before my eyes right. when yes, I died. Right, yes, I have heard those stories before. It's perplexed scientists for a long time, because a lot of people say that when they get brought back to life. Well, get this, our lives may actually flash be before our eyes when we die. Scientists found that uh, this out totally by accident. What happened? They were, uh, doctors were measuring the brain waves of an 87-year-old patient with epilepsy. But while they were doing this exam, Melissa, he had a heart attack and he wow. died. And it gave scientists, though, the, the first detailed look at the dying brain. What did they find? They found the, the brain waves in the 30 seconds before and the 30 seconds after death show the same sort of pattern as they do when you dream hmm. at night, the sort of recall of memory. So um, that sort of brain activity could uh, suggest a recall of life, although it's impossible to say exactly what is happening there. But it's an explanation for these reports that people have long had about the ex life experiences flashing before their eyes. Pretty interesting stuff yeah, to look at there. Wow, well, very, very interesting. Um, yeah, definitely interesting to hear. Now, Wordle players are complaining today after an answer that some thought was too British. Do you Wordle? Are you a Wordler? I cannot Wordle. Um, I've just seen it a lot on Twitter, and it seems as if people are addicted to this stuff, and I do not have time for more addictive activities like that. So I'm <laughs> but yeah, we have enough, we have yeah, enough going enough on going already. On. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> but it's, it's this, it is free, I don't play it either. It's this free game where you have six chances to guess a five-letter word, okay? Uh, Thursday's answer, though, caused an uproar in the United States. The answer was bloke. You know what bloke is? Um, it's, is it like a dude, like a man? Is that a bloke? Correct. Brit British it. slang okay. for a man. Correct. Okay. Uh, so Americans, a lot of them didn't know what that was. Uh, one a Twitter user said, quote, good morning to everyone except that bloke that picked today's wordle. <laughs> Another one says, no one knows what this is except British people. Uh, it seems, though, that uh, people are struggling with all sorts of words now on wordle. Wednesday's answer was trove, which, as you know, is a collection of valuable items. A lot of people complain they didn't know what that was either. But I guess this is good. We're learning learning new words, and that's a good thing, right? Yeah, becoming more cultured, I guess, and learning how other people... More, more British. More, more British. British. Yes. <laughs> okay. And there is um, an exciting new member at the Toronto Zoo. Got to leave you with your daily dose of cuteness. Get ready. Brace yourself, Melissa. Okay. It's a new baby giraffe at the Toronto Zoo. Oh, Look at this. Let's see it. Oh, Wait for it. Look at its little legs. Oh. So cute. It's a big baby, though, isn't it? A very big baby. I think it's bigger than me. This yes. baby, get this, was conceived in November 2020, a 15-month pregnancy wow. for the mom giraffe. Oh, poor mama. Poor mama. Baby doesn't have a name yet. They don't know what the gender is, but uh, Toronto Zoo, happy to have a new baby giraffe for us all to go and see very soon. Nice way to go into the weekend there with a little bit Absolutely. of cuteness. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Richard, and we will see you on Monday. See ya.